The following video contains a build that possesses insane damage, even at a low SHD level. The roles are not optimised, there's zero expertise. You want an easy to make and easy to use build for PvP that slaps? Then this is for you. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh my god, you got, you all got shit on. Run, 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 run. Plum here, g'day champions, how's it going? And welcome back to another Division 2 build video. So I'm always getting asked what's the best and easiest build for PvP for new low level players. To be honest, there's a lot of different builds that could work, but for me, it's gotta be a spotter vigilance build. This build is really easy to piece together and it's even easier to use. Straight up beaming players has been my preferred tactic on my PlayStation account. Now with title update 20 just around the corner, I wasn't going to bother making this build video. But there does seem to be a lot of new players in the community that want to see these types of unoptimized, zero expertise builds actually working in PvP. Now it all started by me getting multi-grouped on in an 8v1. Unfortunately, this is a harsh reality of PvP in most servers. You've got these high level, high expertise players giving off small PP energy, needing to multi-group against one low level SHD player. I'm just thankful that I had a couple of mates that were watching my stream and able to jump in and help me out. A massive thank you to Jack and Dubster for coming to the rescue. And a quick shout out to Blake, the random solo player that was in the server that also jumped in to help out. Now I've PVP'd a few times on this low level account and the gameplay at the end, I'm still under 700 SHD. Feel free to PVP whenever you want. I just really don't recommend players PVPing under 500 SHD because there's a massive difference in your stats and your damage now that we've got the whole expertise system. And we all know that it could just be that one bad PVP session that could ruin your whole PVP experience forever. But hopefully with this build, you can hold your own, get some kills and have a lot of bloody fun in PVP. Righto, so welcome back to all you amazing subscribers. And if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the content, pull your finger out and give that sub button a click. Also remember to engage with this video. A like, a share, a comment, it's all gonna help with the magic and the wizardry of the YouTube algorithm. Doing all this stuff is gonna help the channel and our amazing community grow. If you want to support me on my other socials or catch me live in action on Twitch, Kick, and even on TikTok, all the links are in the description. So I guess here's the build champions. Four reds, two blues, one skill tier because of our specialization. We're sitting around that 1.1 million armor mark, which I do feel comfortable playing with. Feel free to adjust the core attributes as you like. Now our SHD level has gone up a little bit since that gameplay. I've been farming my little heart out during the last couple of global events, but the build's still unoptimized and there's zero expertise. We have the Coyote's Mask, the Fenris Chest, Picaro's Holster, Foxes, Contractors, and a Providence Backpack. It's a pretty simple build. If you don't have any of these exotics, don't worry, it's fine. You can definitely swap the Coyote's Mask to Grupo or Seska. The Kai's Mask is preferred because it's a nice buff to you and your team. Now I've done a very similar build to this on my Xbox account. Everything's maxed out and there's a shit ton of expertise. So if you did want to compare the two side by side, I'll pop the link in the description.
For our specialization, we've gone with technician, basically for that linked laser pointer. This is the easiest attachment in the game. Put it on your gun, aim to pulse the target and shoot. This is what we're gonna to use to proc our chest and our weapon talent. Technician also gives us a skill tier, which does help a little bit towards our skills. For our primary weapon, I've gone with the Carbine 7. This one is close to being maxed out and we've got the talent flatline. I love the Carbine 7, it's very stable, very accurate, very user friendly. Flatline gives us 15% amplified damage to pulse targets. Now in TU20, this is getting a little bit of a nerf. It's gonna be changed from multiplicative damage to additive damage, but it's still gonna be a very strong option as a weapon talent for low level players. Don't forget, you don't need to use the Carbine 7 if you don't have one. You could also use something like the Kingbreaker, which does have perfect flatline. Now, being a low level player, getting your weapon attachments can be a little bit tricky. It did take me ages to get my extended magazine, but after many, many control points, I finally got it. So we've gone with a crit hit chance sight, the extended magazine, the linked laser pointer, and a crit hit chance muzzle. Now your secondary and your pistol, use whatever you like. I've got the Nemesis, which is great, but if you don't have it, don't stress. And for the pistol, I've gone with the Orbit, which is a DZ exclusive, but this can give us up to 40% crit hit damage when procced. Guns on these types of builds are very flexible, so just have a play around with them and use what you prefer. For our mask, I've got the Coyotes, and I was really lucky with this one because it did drop completely maxed out. It comes with weapon damage, crit hit chance, crit hit damage, and I have a 5% crit hit chance mod. Why? Because I don't have a lot of mods to pick from. Pack Instincts gives us and our team extra crit hit chance and crit hit damage depending what range we're fighting at. Most of the time I'd like to be trying to play in that mid range, but sometimes I do venture a little bit closer. As I said before, if you don't have this exotic, don't stress, use a Seska or Grupo Mask. And if you've got somebody else in your team that can use the Coyotes, that's going to help you out too. For our chest piece, we've got one piece of Fenris for that 10% AR damage. The rolls aren't maxed out, but we do have weapon damage, crit hit damage, crit hit chance, and a 5.5% crit hit chance mod. The talent is Spotter. This amplifies total weapon and skill damage by 15% to pulsed enemies. This works great with our weapon talent and it procs the same way. Aim and pull the trigger. It's very easy. For the holster, I've gone with the Picaros. The skill haste won't really do much, but this one does have max armor, some crit hit damage, and it's got that fixed 15% weapon damage. So that's a core attribute. So basically we're five reds, two blues, one skill tier on the build. The knee pads are the Fox's Prayer, very close to being maxed out. We've got max armor, crit hit damage, and that 8% multiplicative damage to targets out of cover. This is still one of the best in slot pieces and I believe it's best in slot for most PVP builds. Our gloves are another best in slot piece with the contractors, maxed out or red. Weapon damage, crit hit damage and 8% multiplicative damage to armor. And lastly, we have the gift backpack. Providence gives us 15% headshot damage. We've got weapon damage, crit hit chance, crit hit damage and our only max mod. One six percent crit hit chance mod. The talent that we've got here is perfect vigilance. Increases total weapon damage by 25%. Taking damage disables this buff for three seconds. Now, if you didn't have this item, a Grupo or Seska backpack would be your best bet. The damage increase is the same, just the buff is disabled for four seconds on normal vigilance. This is a very standard setup for this type of build. It's super effective now, but once you start to max out everything and you're adding expertise, it's only going to get stronger and stronger. For the skills, I like to use something like the decoy, play a little stealthy, a little hide and seek, get into the right position and beam people. The pulse is also handy for you and your whole team, but honestly, play around with the skills for yourself and work out what you prefer. Righto champions, it's fine print time, let's check out our stats. Again, keeping in mind that the build is not optimized and there's zero expertise. But we are still sitting at 54% crit hit chance. The Coyotes will take us over that 60% cap. 
And we've got 114% crit hit damage, which would be 139% with the Coyote's close range buff active. And if Perfect Finisher was active, we could get 179% crit hit damage. These aren't huge crit stats for a fully optimized build, but they're very solid numbers for players under 1000 SHD level. Maxing out your gear and your attributes or farming for better rolled gear is always going to improve your overall build. So that's the build champions. Like I said, I just wanted to show that in the current game, a low SHD player with unoptimized gear, zero expertise can get into the dark zone and PVP. Will you get farmed? More than likely, you're a new player. Try and play smart, get a friend to join you if you can, but never, I mean never let a pack of small dick energy multi groupers deter you from the DZ. No matter who you are or what SHD level you have, make sure that you're having a lot of bloody fun. Remember the link for that fully optimized and heaps of expertise version of this build is in the description, so go check that out after this. So I guess that's about everything, hang about for a bit of gameplay against those nasty multi groupers. Thanks for tuning in and make sure that you show your support by smashing the like button on this video and if you're not already, please subscribe. Everyone's support is always greatly appreciated and I do hope to catch you all in the next one. I'm Plum, Plum out. Bye, have a great time. I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. Oh my god, I don't even have the extended mag on, what? If you stare hard enough, you don't even think about anything. Oh my god, these guys play like bots, man. Full disclaimer, your body is a wonderland. I'm not going anywhere. I'm, I'm locked in. One minute, no worries, Jack. Pull for back up. Pull for back up. Get shit on, boy. Crushing your loot. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. That hurt, you know? And I think that just, that flicked a switch in me where I was like, okay, fuck you, watch this. Now you give him everything he wants, you understand? No.
You're at level 2000 and you get fucking bodied like that. I can't fucking aim for shit with these controllers, man. Let the bodies hit the floor. I am a barely trained professional. Can someone sponsor me? Okay, okay, okay. This so far. Okay, 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 okay. This right here. This right here. This so far, far. Ain't no lie. Time for the smoke, set it on fire. Young king on the rise, do it for the family. Family ties, you can see the hunger in my eyes. You can see the passion in my lines. Came from the jungle, I'm alive, and the flow so clean. Sanitized, plus I got a vision, had to analyze. Gotta build an empire, your franchise. You can join the army, you tapped out. I'm the greatest doing this, yeah, no doubt. Don't start your growth, bro, that's all cloud. Plus, I run the whole show, you just run your mouth. Feeling like you're wrong, yeah, I'm in the house. Okay, 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 this so far Y'all niggas poo tang, my niggas not Run that shit back from the top Okay, okay, okay Killed that shit like OJ Nigga blowing up like propane Tell you before, I tell you again I'm the illest to pick up a pen I'm simply the best that this ever been And this is my friend Merkin rappers, forgive me for my sins It's murder, no Jaru, I had to repent The sickest to live, clocked in like a shift These rappers my sons, but they not my kids Okay, okay, okay Hello, Bozo. Oh my god. How did that guy lose that? I like this. This is cute. Just let a multi group fucking own you for a little bit so they get confident. We ain't stopping that train. Oh no, I'm up. Going, oh, what, what is Um, you know I asked the other day, so I'll pop that on. No proficiency weapons. Oh. them and sneaking up on me like that.
Oh, man, it's all... Oh, no, no. Okay. Okay. Oh, jeez, that guy's a little greedy. Num, 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 num. I'm low level. Bro, I'm low level. I'll stop saying, you know, the crazy stuff. Easy! Fucking get shit horned! 